another space where the elites have taken refuge. It's in the private media. You know, it's in this whole uh, NGO apparatus, this whole civil society, right? Uh, the third sector uh, that, that they've been using in order to continue to try to defend their political interests, their economic interests. And so we see it through these kind of grassroots or astroturf, which is a term that I, I really like to use. You know, they try to sell themselves as grassroots, but they're not actually grassroots. They're elite driven. There's one like Mexicanos contra la corrupción, which is, uh, you know, the brainchild of Claudia X. Gonzalez, a business magnate who is sort of your kind of orthodox liberal. But he was also very used to being close to power, benefited from tax breaks, benefited from, you know, uh, non-tendered contracts, et cetera, et cetera, right? He wants to go back to the status quo because the status quo worked really well for him and his businesses. And that's why he's constantly agitating against the government. Then there's Gustavo de Hoyos and his organization where he's actually presented, declared himself, uh, you know, an aspiring candidate for the presidential race in 2024 who, again, right, they, they were actually just kind of laundering the ideas of Mexico's, what I call the ancient regime, right, to invoke kind of that historical memory, the old regime, the people who were very used to the way that things work through clientelistic networks, through corruption ties, to really, you know, get fat off of the, of the state, meanwhile, the people were suffering. And then they do it through the media, you know, so the private media, obviously, its ownership has very big concerns. And actually operates in a political way. This is nothing new to anybody who's familiar with politics in Latin America. In Latin America, the media becomes a political actor. 